Right, welcome back to the channel, and this is one that's obviously been forced upon me tonight. We're doing the late night shifts on the newer YouTube channel tonight because Chelsea have just announced and confirmed that they have sacked Graham Potter. He is no longer the manager of Chelsea Football Club, and um, yeah, to be fair, doing this video, I just want to really take my time with it and really think about what I'm saying and what I'm putting out there on the internet, on record, as my opinion, to be fair, because... I think, first of all, I think I'm probably in the vast minority in terms of my opinion on this one and in terms of my initial emotion with regards to the sacking overall because I think it's fair to say that um, if you ask 99.999% of Chelsea fans whether or not they are happy about Graham Potter being sacked by the club, I think that that percentage of you know the fans, I think, will be very happy and uh, I think will have said that it's the right decision. But uh, I'm, to be honest, I think the instant emotion that came across me when I saw this news was one of, to be fair, a little bit upset and I think a little bit uneasy, which, first of all, I want to just, you know, reiterate and just disclaim before I get into this video. I do not think that Graham Potter was the next best manager of all time and I don't think he was going to be able to win multiple Premier Leagues with us. Not necessarily anyway. So I just want to, you know, quickly clear that up before the video that I'm not just licking Graham Potter's hole and just, you know, coming from an element of delusion because I do have my opinions and I'm basically just going to be giving you my raw opinions and maybe my unpopular opinions in this video with regards to um, yeah, the decision that the Chelsea board have come to with regards to um, yeah, Graham Potter and his future at the, club, at the club. And look, to be fair, the main reason why I'm just upset, to be fair, and kind of just annoyed at the board more than anything is I think they've bottled it. I really think they've sh the bed. I think they've panicked. I think that, um, you know... When you see the board, how they've come out with in, you know, for a long time now, how they've said, we back Graham Potter, we're fully behind him, there's no way we're going to sack him, we fully believe in him, and then all of a sudden, you just choose to sack him, especially in a period of form where we've actually looked like we've shown a bit of progress. I know some people will call me delusional, but in my personal opinion, I think in these last five or six games, starting at that Leeds game where we won 1-0, didn't play great, but got a win, got a bit of confidence under our belts. The next week, we go and, you know, beat Dortmund in the Champions League over overturn a 1-0 deficit against a good Borussia Dortmund team in the Champions League that obviously beat us 1-0 at the Signal Iduna Park the week before. And we play really well. We obviously get into the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Real Madrid with that one. Then we go and beat Leicester 3-1 away from home. Yes, a Leicester team who have struggled this season so far, but we absolutely made bits of Leicester and performed really, really well. We then go and play Everton in a 2-2 draw where, to be fair, we absolutely, we play really well, in my opinion, and just get caught out by a set piece, a scrappy Sean Dyche set piece, and a goal from Ellis Sims out of completely nowhere. And then yesterday, a 2-0 loss against Aston Villa, which, yes, on paper, is an absolutely disastrous result. It really, really is, don't get me wrong. But the performance itself, I thought was good, and I think the fans that are, you know, arguing against Graham Potter and calling him delusional for calling it a good performance, I think, are completely missing the point from Graham Potter, and I think are really just having a go at him and just using it as a stick to beat him with, because I don't think he made a bad point, in fairness, in terms of the fact we did absolutely dominate the game. Everything went against us we had absolutely zero elements of good fortune and luck and um, yeah ended up just losing the game because of an individual error from two players at the back and a long shot from 20-25 yards from John McGinn in a game that we really should have won 4-5-0 or five nil if the players were more clinical on the pitch because Graham Potter what people need to understand he can't go onto the pitch and finish off chances himself I know he's the manager I know he does have to take responsibility and don't get me wrong he is not in the slightest blameless for this whole situation because obviously he's the one that sets up the team and and we are 11th in the Premier League right now. But my main point here that I've kind of just waffled on a bit about now is that I think that publicly backing him for ages and then sacking him after five or six games where we've actually looked like we've shown a bit of progress in my opinion, I think it just doesn't sit right with me. It really, really doesn't. And that's why I think that they've shit the bed. I think they've really panicked with this one and I think the main reason why is because of the fans. Because the fans from, to be fair, a month or two into Graham Potter's tenure were hounding the guy out, giving him absolute dog's abuse. And I think the board have thought and actually realized that us as Chelsea fans and us as a Chelsea fan base as a whole we have absolutely zero loyalty to them because obviously they're a new ownership they've contributed to zero success at Chelsea Football Club in their short time here and I think they've realized that if they lose the fans in any sort of way I think they are massively in trouble and they need one thing at this moment in time and that is the fans on their side and obviously the fans were not going to be on their side the majority of the fans were going to be losing patience with them if they didn't make this decision and that's why I think they've sold Potter out to dry to be fair I really do and I think they've given them false promises. I think that 
if we were going to sack him now, I think there was absolutely zero point in even giving him the job in the first place. And to be honest, it does feel like we've chewed Graham Potter up and spat him out. It really, really does. A young, upcoming, promising manager who I still back 100% to be a good manager. I think Graham Potter has shown in his career so far, especially with the work he did at Brighton, that he can be an absolutely quality manager that can coach a team to play absolutely blistering football. I think we've put him right into the Dragons' den, into the firing line, and I think we have yet yeah, chewed him up and spat him out back onto the streets where now his reputation has taken a hit and don't get me wrong he will get another job there's links obviously with him going to Leicester who I think would be a really good job for him Spurs are another one I think Spurs could be a really really good job for him but um yeah whether he was the right man for Chelsea or not from a men mental perspective to take us to that next level obviously we'll never know now but um yeah the one thing I will say is I think the board have panicked and I think have treated Graham Potter extremely unfairly to be fair and yeah there's another project manager that Chelsea have chewed up and spat out once again in the conveyor belt of managers because um yeah Chelsea fans will never get past the stage where they demand a project manager a project under a manager to keep him long term and let him build and then when we get two or three months into the project they just completely turn on it and say he's not the man to you know take the project forward we want a project manager but not this fella and it's like how many managers can we go through? We've had Maurizio Sarri, we've had Frank Lampard, we've had Thomas Tuchel, and now we've had Graham Potter, and yeah, to be fair, the next one's probably going to be Julian Nagelsmann, which, in my opinion, makes absolutely little sense, given the fact that, once again, he's a project manager that the fans will more than likely turn on within the space of six months. And yeah, look, don't get me wrong, whoever we do get, I will back to the absolute hills. Don't get me wrong, just, just the type of fan I am, really, but um, to be honest, I have absolutely zero opinion right now on who I want, personally, to take over the mantle from Graham. Potter because to be honest I don't really care but he's going to have the same issues for sure in terms of the massive squad a squad full of new players a squad of 33 or 34 first team players and almost half of them have only been here for less than a year so that's a, a challenge in itself and he's taken over a squad of players that are obviously on the floor with regards to their morale and their momentum and their confidence given the fact that we're having such a poor season with absolutely nothing to play for domestically obviously it's Bruno Salter for the foreseeable future right now and how long he's actually interim manager for this season remains anyone's guess really at this stage but yeah it looks like it's written on the wall that um, Julian Nagelsmann will be the next Chelsea manager whether it is in a few weeks or a few months and I just want to say before people call me delusional and obviously call me stupid for you know not wanting Graham Potter sacked I will say that um, once again I'm not saying by any stretch of imagination that Graham Potter was the man for us and that he was going to you know guarantee success for us and that he was going to turn this around and be a, a brilliant manager because to be fair I actually think in terms of whether it was right or not to sack him that maybe it was from the perspective of the fact that it's a very similar situation to Nathan Jones when he was at Southampton in terms of the fact that the board wanted to give him time and ideally would have given him time to you know fix this and turn things around but when you lose the fan base to the degree that Graham Potter and Nathan Jones obviously did at Southampton I think it's very very hard to rectify and I think it's very hard to turn it around and obviously Mikel Arteta at Arsenal is the benchmark for all these managers in terms of managers that were hounded out and were able to turn it around but not every manager is going to have the same success as Mikel Arteta and I think that is a fair point to take into account with this one but yeah to be fair just as a Chelsea fan in general now I'm pretty lost with the direction of this club I think that there is an element of this within Todd Bowley that um, actually states that he doesn't really know what clear direction we're going to go in. Given the fact that there's now a track record for Todd Bowley, a little bit of a track record going there in terms of the fact that he massively backed Thomas Tuchel when he first came in in the summer, then obviously sacks him six or seven games into the season, then goes after Graham Potter, goes on his hands and knees to try and pry him away from Brighton, and then, you know, goes and backs him publicly for six or seven months and literally goes on record and quotes, we want to judge him based on the years he's here and not the months or games. He literally said that almost word for word pretty much. And then goes and sacks him before the season is even out and then goes for Nagelsmann. The only thing you can say about Nagelsmann that might be a positive in terms of why he should be appointed is the fact he does have a good relationship with Christopher Vivelli, who obviously is our director of football right now. So that could be something that obviously, you know, works out in terms of the fact they've got a good relationship and they've worked together in the past. But yeah, like I said, I just don't really want to comment on who I actually really want as the new manager, to be fair. And look, I think it's a case where I kind of just don't want to talk about the Chelsea managerial situation for a while now because because it's actually been mentally draining constantly coming onto the channel and talking about Graham Potter and whether he should be sacked or whether you know he's doing a, a shit job or not or whatever so I kind of just want to take a, a mental break from talking about the Chelsea managerial situation for a while to be fair and yet to be fair just to sum things up really on my opinion on Graham Potter was it the wrong decision to sack him not necessarily in my opinion did I want him to be sacked 
not necessarily in my opinion once again. But have I lost a tiny bit of respect for the board and how they've acted and how they've treated Graham Potter and am I questioning their decision to sack him and the way they've gone about it? Yes, to be fair, I can't lie. And have the board purely done it because they've panicked and realised that they can't lose any support whatsoever, not an ounce of support from the fan base? Absolutely. And look, I think we all knew when Graham Potter was appointed that um, it was going to be a very tough job for him, given the fact that obviously he doesn't have a good CV to you know back him up in terms of managing an elite level club. And obviously managing Brighton, it's no doubt that it is different to managing a, a club at the size of Chelsea with the ambitions and objectives and aims of Chelsea Football Club. It's, it's a difficult job, but um, I do think Graham Potter was sacked too early. I think they've pulled the trigger on him way too early. And I think that the fans have, to be honest, been massively impatient with this one and look I will never ever ever judge a fan's opinion or you know personally scrutinize a fan's opinion because obviously the fans are the life and soul of every single football club and every single fan deserves the right to have an opinion but I just fully believe that the fans are responsible for Graham Potter being sacked and obviously most of the fans will take credit in that and look if you wanted Graham Potter out I completely respect your opinion and to be honest I completely understand I've said this for ages I understand why people wanted Graham Potter to be sacked and I will never call a fan delusional for wanting Graham Potter to be sacked. But it's just, in my personal opinion, I believe that Graham Potter was wrongly sacked, wrongly, you know, made scapegoated for this Chelsea situation, and I think was treated quite poorly from the Chelsea fan base. to be fair, especially given the fact he seems like such a, a decent bloke. I said that after the Aston Villa game in that video, I feel sorry for the guy, because he's really being ridiculed, which, in my opinion, he doesn't deserve on a human level, to be fair, given the fact that maybe there's, you know, question marks over whether he's making the right decisions or not, with regards to substitutes and team lineups and tactics etc but at the end of the day whether he was good enough for Chelsea long term or not he is a very good manager and will no doubt succeed at another club or the next club he goes to and I just wish the fans were a little bit more patient now obviously the season we're having and the run of form we're on I know is not excusable from a Chelsea fans perspective and I understand once again like I said why they wanted Graham Potter to be sacked but in my personal opinion long story short I wish Chelsea fans were just a little bit more patient and understood that we have in my opinion anyway made a little bit of progress in terms of the style of play in recent games and um, yeah especially just giving them at least pre-season just to really implement things get two or three more players in there whilst getting rid of 10 or 15 players off the wage bill and out the squad and refreshing the whole environment around Cobham and um, yeah hopefully going from there but um, yeah like I said that is now all hypothetical scenarios because Graham Potter has been sacked and um, yeah, we move on. But yeah, Chelsea fans, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this breaking news this evening that Graham Potter has lost his job. I'm sure that pretty much every one of you that does leave a comment will be in disagreement with my opinion, but that's fair enough. And like I said, I do massively accept you guys' opinions on that one. But um, yeah, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. It would be massively appreciated as per usual. And also if you could subscribe to the channel as well, that would also be massively appreciated because we're looking to hit 2,000 subscribers on this channel as soon as we possibly can. So yeah, every single one of you that hits that subscribe button will be helping me get there as soon as possible. And you'd be an absolute legend. And um, yeah, Graham Potter or no Graham Potter, we move on as a football club. We move on to Liverpool on Tuesday where we have to back the boys and Bruno Salter before we go into that game against Real Madrid in the first leg after Wolves away, obviously, as well. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So yeah, chat to you later. Up the chills.